the dreaded this PC does not meet minimum system requirements to install Windows 11. You ever got that? Uh, I just tried to install Windows 11 from an ISO on Hyper-V on Windows 11, and I'm doing that because I need to do some testing. Um, but it could be because you want to run something in a sandbox or because you want to have a enterprise connected machine on your personal machine. Any reasons why you would want to do this on Windows 11? Maybe you're writing some code and you want to make sure that you can deploy it uh, on a Windows machine. Anyway, so I've been getting this issue and you can do this in Windows 11 and Venetius on the post that I'm going to put the address uh, down here. Um, explain to us how we need to tweak Hyper-V in order to avoid getting the dreaded message. So let me show you how to do it. So I'm on my Windows 11 machine right now. And if I go to the PC, so yeah, so that's the one I was getting earlier. So this PC does not meet minimum re system requirement to install this version of Windows. So I'm going to turn it off. Yes, turn it off. I'm in Hyper-V on Windows 11 right now. Well, there's two ways you can do this. If you go to Quick Create and you pick the Windows 11 dev environment, say create uh, a machine, you can pick more options if you want and so you'd set your network switch and create the machine. It will download an image of a dev machine that has a whole bunch of little stuff that's already built into it, such as Visual Studio and so on. Uh, but it will also set up your machine properly so that it will boot. Now, I want to set it up from the ISO because I want to set it up as a regular machine for my testing. First things first, when creating the Windows machine in Hyper-V, uh, remember when I said that one of the requirements was UEFI. So when you create a new machine, click on next, give it a machine name, Pick Generation 2. So this machine uh, provides support for newer virtualization feature as a UEFI based firmware and requires a supported 64-bit operating system, which Windows 11 is one of. Anyway, so I've already done that on my uh, test PC. So in my settings, I can go to security, enable secure, secure boot, which is one of the requirements as well and enable trust and platform module, which is not uh, set up by default. If I apply both of these and say, okay, start the machine. When it starts, it will actually uh, boot from the ISO and set up the machine properly. I'm waiting for it to, to boot a little bit. Uh, I always pick uh, Windows World instead of Windows US in terms of my times and currency, uh, mostly because it doesn't add a lot of the bloatware uh, that you can install with the regular version. Setup is starting, I'll say Pro, click Next, Next, accept the, UI, the EULA, custom install, Next and starts copying the field, the, the files. So I've already passed the check of where the machine is checking for requirements and this machine will install and run specifically um, as needed. Now, if you are on Hyper-V on a Windows server, it's basically the exact same thing. Go to settings, go to security, and it's exact same thing. So enable trusted platform, uh, enable secure boot and it is a gen 2 machine so if I click OK uh, that machine will boot and install properly. So there you go Windows 11 installed on Hyper-V on top of Windows 11. If you like this content like and subscribe and uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers!